I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, our continuing coverage of the Philadelphia Eagles training camp 2021 here with Milton Williams, Eagles defensive lineman who were here at the Jets facility, first day of joint practices. Let's let's talk about this practice first. What was it like out there today uh, against a really good football team with an offensive line that's big, talented, strong? How'd it go out there for you? Man, I think it, it went pretty good for me. You know, coming in, I, I start off a little slow, but I'm a little bit more confident in my abilities now. And I, I think we came out here and handled our business today. It was a, a good practice, a high intensity, good competition, and I feel like we got better today. I got a lot of things to talk to you about. Talk about what about the level of confidence? Why wasn't it super high at the beginning? Just trying to learn your way around? Just trying to get adjusted, adjusted to the speed of the game. Everybody is better at this level. And then as far as me learning, I'm really learning every position on the defensive line. So just kind of sharpening my mind on all those positions. And then once I get lined up, go to back to my checklist of, of the things I need to focus on in this certain position. So I think it, it started slow with that, but I didn't pick it up now. I imagine you had been told that it would be a transition in terms of the tempo mm -hmm. from Louisiana Tech to the NFL, right? Yeah, definitely. So, so, no, so has it been more than you thought? Nah, it's kind of what I expected a little bit, but I think with practice, you're always going to get better. Then going against our offensive line every day, man, we're going to have one of the best offensive lines in the league. All right, Milton, let's talk about playing everywhere on the defensive line. Uh, for, the peop for the people out there watching, they don't really understand the difference. Hey, the ball snapped, you get up the field, you try to beat your man. An end playing on the edge, what, what has that been like for you? What, what, what skill set do you need to, to succeed and excel off the edge? On the edge, you got to have one of the best get-offs, eyes, make sure you're looking at the right thing, and technique. Looking at the tip of the tackle, if you go down, you know something coming back, so make sure you fit in the, uh, the puller right. And then uh, watch a film on these guys, you know their tendencies as far as what they're going to do in pass rush, so try to scheme up your moves off of that. So the Eagles have you on the edge because they want size on the edge. How has that been taking on bigger, really agile offensive tackles? What, because it's, it's a different deal than working inside where it's tighter, faster against guards and centers. Me personally, I think it's easier to play on the outside because in the trenches, like you said, it's tighter spaces. And then most of the time you're holding up 600 pounds when you get a right. double team. So <laughs> That's right. How many moves do you have? You got a lot of moves, but when you come out to practice, you can only focus on two. Focus on one move to start off and then have a counter move off that and try to work that all practice and then the next day try to fine tune something else. But you can't come out here with too much too much stuff on your mind because you'll come out there and just be doing all kind of stuff. So okay now we talked about playing on the edge. Now talk about moving down and playing inside. What is that what is the skill set required there against such massive guys and multiple guys? Strength, uh, get off, pad level. I think pad level is probably the most important thing as far as playing inside because if you go in there and you standing up and they come with a, with a double team, you're going to go for a ride. So get off. You want to get the first touch, have good pad level, and get extension. Try to split those double teams. And as far as pass, uh, I think I can. I got a little bit of an advantage going against the guards because, like I said, I played defensive end most, most of my football career. So moving inside, going against uh, slower guards, using my athleticism, I feel like I got a little bit of an advantage inside. So if you were to like look at the Eagles defensive line and say, okay, there's BG over there, there's Derek Barnett, there's Josh, there's Fletch, there's Hargrave, do you try to take a little bit of everything that they have and incorporate that into your game? Definitely. When I first got drafted here, I was like, man, I'm finna be on a team with Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham, uh, Hargrave, Sweaty, DB, all those guys, they've been, they've been helping me out ever since I got here. So I've been kind of getting tips from all of them. I sit next to BG in meetings. So every time we watch film, he give me little tidbits to look at. Every time we're on the practice field, when I'm, when I'm working tackle, he fledges in my ear, always let me know a couple things I can get better on and what to focus on and things like that. So I try to take a little piece from everybody and I feel like that's gonna help me in the long run. In college, were you just a better athlete and just over, I mean, in general, just you were just better than the guy across the line scrimmage from you? Yeah. Because, and, and now, because right, cause you're, you're bigger, stronger, faster. Yeah. So but coming out of high school, you know, I felt like I could have went somewhere bigger, but I, obviously I didn't get the opportunity. So I just had to take advantage of my opportunities at Louisiana Tech, and like, I'm here now. And now at the NFL level, you need to be way more than a great athlete and yeah. a great physical talent. You need to have brains. So tell me about your what, what is in your notebook? Is it like this copious word-by-word -word notebook that Tracy Rocker, every word he says, you're kind of writing it down? Kinda. I want to say that when we're in film, uh, when we're in meetings, I'm making sure I'm writing down most of what everybody is saying, what our game plan is going to be for this week. And then once we watch film, and I watch film on my own of certain guys that uh, we're going to practice against, 
I got little notes and little tidbits of what to look for when we get out here on the practice field and then when we get out on the game. So my notebook is uh, pretty thick right now. I'm going to have to get a, a new one in a minute. I think what fans want to know, Milton, also is rookies like have responsibilities. You are the new guys on the block. What do you have to do because you're a rookie? Like, did you sing your fight song, your alma mater fight song? No, nah, we had to, the, well, they made us sing R&B. Okay, so what did you sing? I sung uh, Boosie Collins, I'd Rather Be With You. How, how's that go? I'd rather be with you. Yeah. Did you get a standing ovation? They booed me at first, <laughs> but as I as I got the words, they saw that I, that I knew the words, so they kind of they kind of cheered for me. That's fine. And, and I know you carry the Rita's water eyes. I mean, there's like right. Carrying Fletcher Fletcher's pads, right. BG pads. Before camp even started, they sent us a checklist of, of all we had to get uh, things for the room. So we spent about. $300 on like snacks to keep the room stocked up and things like that. <laughs> and then once the season gets started, uh, they got they got a, uh, a list of stuff that they're going to have us do. But if you were at the last game, uh, Rodney uh, McLeod, he had got all the rookies some big suits or some tacky suits and we had to wear them to the game. But ah, the zoot suits. We showed up a little early so wouldn't nobody see us. But I just saw Landon Dickerson walking around with the overalls. I thought, I thought that, was, that was his deal. No, no he, he, I don't, he just picked that. I don't oh, know. okay. <laughs> that, was, that was his choice. Milton, what's it going to take for you to be the, the best player that you feel you can be? Just practice. Practice and my coach staying on me and getting the best out of me every day. I love to hear that. Good stuff. Is it fun? Yeah, definitely. This has been a dream. This is a dream come true. You know, you're making money doing something that you love to do. It's, you're not really working. You know what I'm saying? So you're playing the game. I hear that. I love it. Milton, thanks, man. Appreciate thanks for time. Milton Williams, Eagles defensive lineman here at Jets training camp. Eagles and the Jets joint practice day number one is in the books.